Thank you for tuning in to this special Leaders in Coffee election edition on Gables Insider. Today we're joined by Myra Jolie, candidate for Coral Gables City Commissioner in Group 2. Myra, welcome to Leaders in Coffee. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Myra, what motivated you to run for city commission? Most of all, the lack of a respect of the commissioners, mayor, and, and, and vice mayor towards the, the residents. And uh, they, you know, and the, 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 it was clear to me that the residents were not represented as strongly as the developers are represented. Uh, development is my first question. Uh, development is a big issue right now in the city. What is your stance on the current rate of development and what would you do to change that? It's out of control. Coral Gables is not for sale any longer. And I will immediately want to all the commissioners, vice mayor and mayor to disclose what their relationship are with the developers and the developers disclose who their friends are in the commission. That is exactly what's going to happen. And every developmental project is going to be tabled until we decide what we're going to do. Development has also led to traffic uh, being a problem in Coral Gables. Our gridlock continues to grow. What would you do to improve our traffic situation in the city? First of all, when, um, when the more construction in the city of Coral Gables, the worse will be for the traffic that we already have no way to control. All of this talk about calming the traffic, like if the traffic was this little baby that we're gonna give a bottle to, no, that's not gonna work. Right now, what we're gonna be, have to be doing is putting a speed bumps everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna have to alter our beautiful streets because of the bad decisions of commissioners. And now we have all this traffic here that is no way to be calm. Nobody said that traffic is subject to any time of therapy that will make them calm. So we will have to put a speed bumps everywhere to see if we can at least slow the speed of the cars going through our cities trying to get from point A to point B. You mentioned this in your intro, uh, residents are concerned about resident input and the transparency in government. How would you change that? Well, uh, the residents can check what has been my trajectory. They can see that I am not them. And I will tell them exactly the same way I'm doing it now, which I am speaking with them with the truth, not pitching for some rhetoric just to get votes. What you see is what you get. And you are going to have a megaphone and the commission, and that megaphone is gonna be wide and loud if what's happening there is something that is not gonna benefit the interest of us, the residents of Coral Gables, because I am one. So I'm gonna be looking out after my interest, which is the interest of the residents of Coral Gables, different from looking out of, for the interest of the developers who do not live in Coral Gables and they don't care if we have problems with our traffic. What message do you send residents who are undecided on who to vote for in this race? Wait and see, do not make a determination based on all the things you get in the mail. In the mail, you get bad, you get bad mounting for one candidate to the other and from that other candidate to that one. Just see what you get in your mail and then put everything in the trash because that's what it is, trash. You are, you're not gonna buy a vacuum cleaner because you saw somebody on TV using it and it looks like it's great you're gonna buy if you see that it works. When you see Maida Jolie 
That's what you see is what you get. I don't change my rhetoric depending on where the air is blowing. When you research Maida Jolie, you're gonna see me everywhere, but you're gonna see a clean Maida Jolie with the name that she carved herself. No one, no one can cast any shadow in my reputation because my reputation came from the angular rock of every civilization, a good family foundation. Myra Jolie, thank you so very much for joining us and good luck in this election. Thank you very much for having it. And thank you for watching. Tune in next time for another Leaders in Coffee on Gables Insider.